be bothered to drive a car down, so I'm just going to do a cheaty system of this. Train! Oh look, you're full! Not really, you're, you're like completely empty. Okay, thank you for the lift back. I'm going to go get some conveyor belts and stuff and then I will be back again. Okay, you can go to the outpost because you're empty now. But obviously they didn't want to go to the outpost. They're still producing steel and this has probably been backed up for like half an hour. Eww. Uh, yeah, I'm going back. No, I've gone too far. Still need to set up production of red belts and underground conveyors, etc., etc., etc. Going to take a few more of them than normal. <coughs> we'll produce ten of them. That's gone. He's still here. Uh, he's nearly done though. Oh dear, you need to go back and fill up with more circuits by the looks of it, pal. Oh yeah, there was something I didn't realise. You can actually drive from the uh, trailer car. So you don't have to actually be in the front car. Right then, I've got ten of these, so... There's five. There's another five. It's doing nothing, and they're attacking the south. I think another base must have popped up over there somewhere. I wonder, could I just simply go straight across, then build straight down there, and claim that bit with the extra bit of copper as well? I'll just build straight across there. Hmm. Options. Might be an idea. Right, this looks to be producing pretty well. Admittedly, these plates seem to be actually backing up properly. Let's see, once this has cleared that backlog there, which has now happened, they're not really backing up that much. They're all producing straight out. Uh, copper plates seem to be backing up okay. Eh, I, I, I think that's acceptable. That's giving a good supply down there, good supply up here still. And we currently haven't brought the last one online yet. Still emptying out, but that's emptying out. Eventually we might actually run out of materials for the system to use, but... I guess you can just add a couple of extra units on the end. That might be an idea to do, actually. Just add an extra couple of smelters on the end of here. That's one thing I just thought of. We can't have a shortage of iron plates or copper plates here. Right, and we'll place there and there. Oh, what a shame it doesn't do both sides justice. And some inserters. Extractor. Extractor and shooter. What we'll do is create a fast splitter, five more normal splitters, and some more. Three. What do we need? Iron plates. Oh, look, we've got an absolute load of iron plates. We don't need more. 
let some more through because otherwise that will stop the production. Let's quickly do that. Let some more through. Yeah, we've got tons of iron plates there. Yeah, let's see if I have red split of that there. I'll let that merge in as a red splitter. Ah, if you hardly quin the belt. Just have a red belt where the inserters are. Ooh, that was a good thing I just noticed. Have a red belt where the splitters are and yellow belts everywhere else. It breaks down and splits up. So it gives it space to insert and then leaves it normal. So where your inserters are, the plates actually travel quicker. Admittedly, I shouldn't have a problem up here. It means that plates are always going to insert onto the belt. Uneven production line, but it's compressing them up here, look. Admittedly not completely compressed, but it's good enough. They're just not going here. So, this doesn't actually need red belt anywhere down there. Okay, now production's running at full speed. That's backed up, but that's now losing ground. So we're still losing ground, even though I've added an extra two smelters on there. I wonder if I could squeeze an extra two smelters in. Possibly. So I need an extra smelter now. One, two, three, four. four. Extra smelter in. So we've got an extra two, extra four smelters to see if we can now back this system back up. <coughs> One out of seven. So, that looks to actually be inserting pretty well. We're getting a good flow of, on the belt. It's just whether that flow is enough to combat the running out we've got. I think the system might be running slightly quicker than what we're actually producing the copper plates. Which isn't a problem. All we'll have to do is stick another few smelters at this side if if it comes down to it. How's our pollution? Our pollution is affecting them now, so that we may get biter attacks on this base. Luckily we're well clear on the power at the moment. And I'm thinking I need to build a buffer system here so that when the train goes away there's enough spare um, production here. Look, they've got these extra chests. So if I start setting this up before now. I'm going to need some more inserters, so I'm just going to produce some inserters myself. I need electronic circuit. I should just grab some electronic circuits and re-stack them. Five. Yep, I'm going to just grab a quick stack of your circuits there, pal. Right, inserter. Inserter, inserter. And then we can start going down the line with more inserters. I've got these, haven't I? Yes. 
So if I place that there, I can now take him out. That's powering everything. There we go. I can plan the belt out now. Belt just goes there like that. There and there. Just change the direction of that. <coughs> Remove this belt. Stick in a load of chests. I'm going to do, do something that I saw somewhere else. I'm not going to say where. Decider Combinator, yes. Right. We go... Electronic Circuits. Divided by? Maybe it wasn't decided, maybe it was arithmetic. We got electronic circuits divided by one, two, three, four, five, six. Negative the number of chests. Output electronic circuits. Right then, we need some green wire. What we do is we connect up the chests together. And we'll need some more green wire, 5, 10, 1. And then, because we've got 6, we'll need 6 red wires as well. And the green wire goes to every single chest. And to there. And... Green wire goes to every single inserter, which will stop those inserting completely. These get a condition of everything less than number of inserters, which are, well, yeah, six. Everything greater than six. And then we'll connect the red wire to the chest, red wire to the chest. Bear, bear in mind, this is a single connection from one chest to the inserter. And now... This shouldn't be doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Tell you what, we'll have that output its signal to there and we'll have a look what this is doing. And we're getting no signal to there. Ah, because that's loading onto the train straight away, you dumb person. Right, right, we'll paste this order into everything and that should set that up now. Right, what we'll do is we'll just go in the train and we'll go manual. Move it backwards to there. Right then, the theory is that these should fill up at the same rate. Can't tell because there's a constant supply of things. So what we're going to do is make it like that. Now we've got 49 in one chest, 53 in the other. This will actually fill up funnily again. And our number here is minus 48, minus 49, minus 50, 52, 53, 54. So if this is... This is going to minus off 92, 93 to there. So that should be inserting when it's greater than 6. No. Let's 
less than zero. What we'll do is we'll just do that. So when it's less than zero, it inserts. That way they'll insert in order. So 120, 123, yeah, that's working. Because these have got 130 in. That's got 140 in. That's got 140 in. It's averaged out now that all these are now getting the same number. Every time the negative number is what should be in the chest. So 178. What? So the theory is this is actually going to take the right number. 184. And that's minus 184. 185, 185, 185, 185. So because this can't get one more in it, put one more in there, one of the other inserters now should 186, 186, 186, 185. So these won't insert because these don't have 185. So that system's keeping all these chests at an even number. So they'll all fill up evenly. Right, what we can do is we can send the train back to circuit one. Which means that'll start filling back up again now. Might make those stack inserts. Got four, two there, one, two. What do we need? Iron plates. I can get iron plates easy. I'm going to do the same trick with the belts here. Boop, boop. not really working because it's backing up the system too quickly. If I even the belt out though that should actually make it better. So now the belt should take from both sides even when it's completely full. Right, anyway, we were on to two more of those inserters, weren't we? Yeah. So that's actually balancing the system out pretty well. The copper ore plates are still not backed up fully, but they're actually backing up a little more than I expected now. That system will back up eventually, I hope. Right, we've got those six there. That was the wrong button, that was T instead of R. Okay, so... Just quickly nip out here. I think... That's full. Get out of its way. Have we got any damage on our systems over here? Got a battery attack going on. Down on the southern wall, I'll have to go and check out whether there's any damage occurring to that wall. We actually do have damage here. One turret got damaged. Which means might not be enough to deal with the amount of biters that we're attacking. So I'm just going to increase the number of defences there. On that corner. And the number of turrets down here. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.